There's a part of my golf swing that I absolutely hate and it causes me quite a lot of issues. So tonight I'm gonna go down to the driving range and try and fix that fault. It's been plaguing me for a while now. Let's see if I can figure it out. Also, I'm gonna test out this three wood tonight. TSI three, I fancy giving this a rip. Come on, let's go to the range. So I'm down here at the range, I'm here at Trafford Golf Centre. Who knows what this place is? This is my old bay. Now granted it's moved upstairs now, this is a teaching academy, the boys behind are coaching so I can't be too loud. But this is the old bay where it all started from. It used to be downstairs, it's now been lifted upstairs. But this was my view. This is what I used to see every day when I coached here. Right, before we get to the swing fault, let's hit a few warm up shots, let's get Let's get loose because it's quite a chilly night and then we'll dive into it. Okay, so after a few warm up stretches, I'll typically start my practice with a lofty club. This is my sand wedge. I'm just going to hit some shorter shots first, just loosening up, getting my eye in, and I'll progress to some fuller shots as I start to, uh, as I start to warm up a fraction. Okay, six iron next, full of shots. Okay, so that's warm up complete and I've hit some full shots. Now you might start to see some faults in my swing and yes, there's a few. And if I'm honest, far too many to mention just in this one video. But there's one fault in particular that I've, I've been fighting for for so long. When I control it, I play my best golf. When it gets out of control, I've got to rely on timing. And it's this move in my backswing. So as I take the club away, I have this tendency of opening the face up. As I get to halfway back, my club face is in an open position. The toe is in front of the heel. Now that comes from, the, the origin of that comes from my grip being slightly too weak. My left hand is too much around the left side of the club. Now, if I think back to why this ever happened, it's mainly because I've always tried to fight a draw or a hook. That was always my bad shot. So for me, having a weaker grip, opening the club face was my attempt to stop going left. And to be honest, it does work. My miss now is slightly more to the right. However, why it's an issue, if I open the face in the takeaway, my club face is open at the top of the swing. And as I come down then, I have to make quite an aggressive adaptation. And I use my hands quite aggressively through the ball to square the face up. When it's on, when my timing's good, it works. When my timing's off, it does not work. As I mentioned before, when I play my best golf, my club face is square in the takeaway. I don't have to use my hands and it's easier for me to hit straighter shots. So I'm gonna strengthen my grip. I'm gonna do a little bit of work on closing the club face in the takeaway and see if we can figure it out before giving this thing a rip. TSI 3-3, would I fancy giving that a hit? So the first thing I've got to tweak is this left hand grip. I know I get guilty of turning it this way too much. So I'm going to be very conscious of seeing two knuckles on that left hand. For me, that already feels like I'm going to be able to shut the face going back more. Just as a side note, it just feels awful. Like anytime you make a change to your grip, it just feels so alien and so strange. And every time I change my grip stronger, I initially hit it too far left which is not the shot I like to hit. So now I've altered my grip a little bit and gone stronger. The next thing I need to look for is as I start to take this club away, getting this feeling that the club face is aiming down to the floor. Now, as you can imagine, obviously I make a lot of videos. I see my swing a lot. I hate seeing my swing where my club face opens, where that face is starting to point upwards. It drives me insane. So I know I need to exaggerate that feeling. So the, what I'm gonna do here is do some really 
almost quite staged and, and slow motion versions of my takeaway where I really try and get the club face aiming down to the floor with my stronger grip. I can combine those two together. Then I just need to quiet my hands through the shot. So really try and shut the face in the takeaway. And that's typically what I see a big left miss because my hands still want to be too active through the ball. We'll come on to that in a minute. Whenever you make a swing change, it always feels a bit strange. And that one does even there now. Like even though I've been in these positions before, I've had a stronger grip, I've had a more closed club face. When you've not done it for so long, it just feels different, it feels strange. And sometimes it's quite hard to get used to. A couple of things that you definitely should do, if you, when you do practice at the driving range or at home, wherever you can do, either use a mirror so you can check what you're doing in your swing or video yourself. Set up on a little tripod and video yourself makes a massive difference so you know you're doing the movements correctly. in my hands, make my hands quieter. What I've got to get the feeling I'm doing is almost holding the face off as much as possible. I feel like I made some good changes there. It's not perfect yet, but it's a start. Here's a good bit of advice. I actually got this off a client of mine when I actually used to coach in this very, very teaching bay. And he made changes unbelievably quickly, like scary quick. And I said to him one time, "Why? Well, how do you change things so quickly in your swing? This is a great bit of advice. He said, whatever you tell me, Rick, I double the exaggeration. So if you tell me to do one thing, let's say it's club face I'm doing there in the, in the back swing, he would double the exaggeration until I told him he'd done too much. Anyway, enough of that. That's my thing that I hate about my golf swing and hopefully over the winter months I can fix it. But let's have some fun now. Let's smash some three woods. Right guys, so the teaching bay is shut because it's getting super late now. It's nearly half 10 at night. Thanks to Pete Styles for letting me come down here and do a little bit of filming in the old bay. Now, I'm not massively looking for a new three wood. The one I've got in the bag I love. However, <laughs> I'm gonna give this a smash. Trying to make swing changes isn't always easy and even the best players in the world have to make swing changes and I've got plenty to make, but that's the one that I desperately wanna fix that I shared with you today's video. Right, let's smash a few of these into the midnight sky. <laughs> Maybe not the best time to try a new three wood when you've just changed your grip and your takeaway. We'll try again another day, I think. <laughs> we'll see you next time.